Hey Pirates, it's Ren here. Today was the release of the Outpost 13, which means major changes in our base, dock, uh, portals, turrets, and a bunch of stuff. There was a problem with the upgrade. Game was down for over three hours. And one of the problems is that our portals were removed, just disappeared. As you can see here, I'm still missing one on purpose. I wanted to show that. After the game came back online, I made it so you can reinstall your portals in just one second. So you can see it here. Equip. Whatever portal you had, in my case, it was the Bastion Seawall. And you can see here there will be a new Bastion Seawall level 2 coming soon. It's not released today, but you can see the stats already. It's a lot stronger than level 1. With more than twice the armor and 10 times the deflection. So let me quick put the portal back, the seawall, select. You can see here it's just one second and one of each resources. I don't know for how long this is going to be. So make sure you log in and you fix your portals back to whatever they were. I'm going to hit start build. And as you can see, it did not use any of my base parts and the portal is back. Another new thing with this release, there is a new rocket. And before we even go to the outpost, check your weapons lab. And there is a rocket tab. And here you can see the new Bunker Buster level 5. It's a rocket that deals 104 million damage to a single building or a very tiny splash area. And if you realize that 104 million is pretty much enough to kill a level 4 portal and it's also enough to kill a level 12 outpost. It's almost enough to kill a turret. I think the turrets have 120 million armor or something like that. Anyway, it's a very strong uh, rocket you can deploy. So before we start the outpost, you can right off the bat start the research. If you have an officer, you can assign the officer to this. So go to your great hall, open hall, click officers. Because we're going to be doing building upgrades, it's very important to have one construction expert to save 10% on construction time. And then you can turn another officer into a weapon expert. And with that, now we go in the weapons lab and it should be 10% faster to unlock that rocket. So I'm going to hit start research. And that one is off to the races. You see now it's, instead of 14 days, it's 12 days, 14 hours because of my officer. So this was just some pre-work. Put the gates back. Start the rocket. The other thing you could be doing, but in my opinion you should not be doing. You can already go and build. And if you want, you can build the new defensive structure. The saw factory. You can build it level 1 with Outpost 12. The problem is if you spend time on that, now you won't be upgrading your Outpost, which is a prerequisite to upgrade your dock, which is a prerequisite to run any full fleet of 5 tier 10 ships. So even for the next siege raid or for a full fleet of 5 exterminators whenever they become available, you will need that dock upgraded. So I would suggest you don't start with the saw factory. And I'm doing a separate video on it because there's a lot of aspects about how to build the mines, where to position the mines and all that kind of stuff. So stay tuned for that separate video. Going to the outpost finally, I'm going to hit upgrade. You see you need a lot of uranium, so make sure you have a lot of uranium. It takes 21 days. One thing you see here, the current outpost level 12 has 100 million armor. And now it's going to 500 million armor. So it's five times more armor. And if you look at deflections, uh, they're going from 18,000 to 750,000. It's huge. This should make the outpost the hardest building to kill in your base. So if somebody hits your base and they all they have at the end is one ship left, it's probably going to take them 25, 30 seconds to kill that outpost. So they better have some time left on the timer. All right, so let's start the upgrade on the outpost. 
The outpost is going because I have the officers only 21 days, only, quote unquote, quote unquote. And now I'm going to speed that up with tokens. I'm going to fast forward this piece and let's get to the point where the outpost gets done. All right, and what's left here for days, 10 hours, I'm going to spend 213 coins and just get this done so you folks can see what happens next. So with that done, we can now take the saw factory up to level 3. We can upgrade the dock, we can upgrade our turrets, aka defense platforms, and we can upgrade our portals to level 5 along with a bunch of labs. Now, this is where each player having different priorities, each player now will prioritize different things. I would say number one thing to do now is the dock. Right, you come here, upgrade dock, you cannot be repairing anything to get started, but once you start the upgrade, you can go back and use the dock as usual. It's going to be 14 days, 9 hours for me with the officer. The max weight for the fleet will double, and the armor the health points on the dock go from 75 million to 95 million. So that's the natural next step. The other thing you could be upgrading, but I wouldn't do that now, are portals and turrets. But if you're focused more on, on PvE and you want to save money and save time, you might want to consider the labs before you do any portal. Because let's pick one lab here, the advanced lab, for instance. If you upgrade it in six days, seven hours, you will get 5% special refit time modifier for tier 10 and 10.5. Because we used to have 20% here, right, for tiers 0 to 9.5, on top of the 30% we had for all ships. But this doesn't apply to tier 10. So right now you have only the 30% time modifier on tier 10. If you want to get the extra 20%, you will have to do multiple levels on these labs. So here you only get 5%, you do another one, you get more, you do another one, you get back to 20. That's how I think it works. So, you know, up to you. But if, if your priority is to have a strong base defense, then probably you want to do the dock and the turrets, and the soft factory, and the portals, in whatever order, not necessarily in this order. Let's take a look at a turret. I'm going to pick one of my short-range turrets, upgrade. So here the armor goes from 40 million to 60 million. Deflect, uh, power capacity almost doubles. Right, which is a bit of a conundrum, a bit of a problem, because the power capacity in the turret is going from 65,000 to 120,000. But if you look back at the outpost, the total base power did not go up, meaning it's going to be impossible to actually equip all the turrets at maximum power. And I know Kixai had only one line on their release notes about some new thing called the Power Transformer that will be released next week. So we'll see how that works when it gets released. But I think that's going to be part of addressing this lack of total base power. Because the turrets went up, but without more total base power, I don't think we'll be able to do much. So we'll see that next week. For now, let me get a turret and upgrade. You see it takes two days, six hours, 120,000 titanium. So get going on the titanium because you need a lot of it. And so we looked at the power, the deflections go up a little bit, not much, you see 25 to 35 only. So turrets are not getting a lot stronger than they were. They're getting 50% more armor and you know less than 50% more in terms of deflection. So I'm gonna start upgrade. And for these, if you've been doing the, those campaigns, such like right now, if you go on the campaign list, there's one called Hold the Line. You get to the mastery level and they have this three day defense platform structure build token. These ones can be used to speed up the upgrades of the turrets. 
This campaign has been showing up on a regular basis, so probably you already should have 10 of these in stock if you did the campaign before. If not, you can do it right now and get three of them, which allows you to instantly upgrade three turrets. So I'm gonna speed up. Here it is, the three-day defense platform token, redeem. So that one is done. Now let's compare total power now with the transformers and everything is 170. Total armor 181. And that's with the Bathia and those specials and the transformer and whatnot, right? And you look at the deflections, even the weakest ones are 35,000. Comparing this to a turret that's still level 11. So I'm going to get another Bathio here that's level 11. And here you see 115, uh, 161 total armor. And the deflections, the lowest are 25, not 35. So you see the turret got a little bit stronger, right? 161 versus 181. So 20k more armor. Okay, so that covers outpost. Uh, turrets you can do with those tokens, so I recommend you do a few of them. Or maybe you save the tokens, you wait for next week to see this power transformer thing and see what needs to be done. Keep some of them in stock maybe. And then the next thing up would be the dock, probably. Do the dock and then do the saw factory. I'm going to stop here. And from here, you know, you can do dock, you can do saw factory. Maybe at some point you want to do the labs, as I mentioned, to get the, the refit bonuses again, because they're gone. For PVE in particular, you want to do, where is it? My tactical lab, here. You want to upgrade the tactical lab because it gives your PVE ships uh, evade bonus that otherwise they will not have. All right, and for Portal, finally, uh, just to compare, the new level of Portal, uh, it's becoming a lot stronger too. So this one is going from 75 million armor to 150 million armor, so it's doubling the armor. And the power capacity is going up a little bit, but look at the deflections. That's the key thing here. It's going from 36,000 deflection to half a million, 500,000. So this is something like 15 times more deflection, which should make them a lot more resistant, especially against tier nine ships. You know, so if you care about base defense, this is probably one of your priorities along with the saw factory is getting portals upgraded. I hope this was helpful as a quick overview. Uh, stay tuned for a, a video on the saw factory. Take care parts. See you next time.